Hi guys, today just a couple of alternate picking guitar exercises, playing through two five ones for improvisation practice. But as usual, before we start, please smash the subscribe button because that really does keep the channel going. Smash the like button because that really does help me with the algorithm. This lick is not super fast, it's around 140 beats per minute, but for improvising it's the ideal tempo in order to connect the music together, especially through the most basic form of two five ones. For this first exercise it's strict alternate picking starting on a down stroke. For the A minor 7 flat 5 chord I'm going to use this C minor position. And then I'm going to slide down a semitone to create some chromatic colour. And it's very comfortable to pick and to finger for the fretting hand. So after this, we go back to the E flat, and then we've got an A flat from here to B to C and up to the E flat, and then some repetition. So we have. Also, I'm accenting the third note in each four-note tetrachord grouping. From the C-flat, the hand slides into position. And now we have some semitones. Here's a tone and finally a major third and an open string. So we have... Here it is with a variation in the second bar. So we play the first bar the same, but now we shift up to this position. Again, the hand just moves into position, it doesn't come off the fingerboard, just move into position or slide up into position. Now slide back down into position. And we finish here on the B natural. So we have... In this next exercise, we will start with an up stroke and we will use sextuplets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's connect another group of sextuplets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Being a melodic minor, I'm finishing on the leading note, the G sharp. So let's join these two together. Now let's join another two groups of sextuplets together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Taka taka dini, taka taka dini. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's connect another group of sextuplets. Again, we will start on an upstroke. One, two, three, four, five, six. Taka taka dini. Taka taka dini. Taka taka dini. In this next exercise, we'll use the same principles or ideas as the first exercise, starting with a triad and then going down a tone. So we have, and that again is nice to pick. 
This in turn will lead us to some scale, some pentatonic. Now again from here I'm going to shift up into position on this string without taking my hand off the fingerboard. The minute I play this part I'm just going to slide it into position and then slide down into position. Now what I'm going to do is just use some pentatonic. So let's join this together. This next exercise uses the same principles, but it's ascending. Here we have chromaticism and pentatonic movement. So to begin with, we have... We start with our arpeggio and then flatten it. So B minor to B diminished. But this actually goes down a semitone to the E. So we have this to start the phrase. Now we move into pentatonic movement. Slide down to four chromatic notes. Ascending. Now we slide up without taking the fingers off of the fingerboard and descend four chromatic notes. Lastly, without moving our hand off of the fingerboard again, we slide or shift into position for some more pentatonic movement. Here is the same exercise but with a variation at the end. So In conclusion, some people might say, well, these are not alternate picking exercises. Generally, they're repeated exercises, you know, with two strings or something like that. But for jazz and fusion, you have to do it through chord changes, really. And then when you do these exercises, you'll find one or two things that really work well. And you'll find it easy to connect certain things together. And when you're playing through the changes, you're learning to improvise or you're actually improvising. And when you have these four note groupings and you can get them tight and fluid, then you can break them up and create jazz or fusion musical phrasing with syncopation and anticipation. But that's difficult to do unless you can hold together four note groupings. So two five ones are the most basic fundamental jazz um, chord changes to play through or cadence to play through. And playing through these and altering them and changing them will make you an extremely good improviser a lot quicker with the alternate picking, as opposed to just doing two string exercises. That's not to say that two string exercises aren't useful or any of these exercises aren't useful, but what is useful at the end of the day is actually playing through chord changes. And this is not particularly fast, it's only 140 beats per minute, but if you can't get it at 140, then you won't be able to get it at 160. You know, 120 to 140 is really the sort of tempo to be playing through um, any type of chord change, really, with the alternate picking. But when you make exercises, just like I've done in this video, you'll find things that you get familiar with, easy to play, and you can use in real life, as opposed to exercises that are very kind of stagnant, really, and um, more like gimmicks that you can't actually play with music with when the actual harmony comes, the chord changes come. Um, so that's why I like to practice the two five ones, and I find that the best way to really get the improvisation and the alternate picking down and connecting together. Anyway, if this video was of any use to you, then please smash the subscribe button, because that really does help keep the channel going. Smash the like button, that really helps with the algorithm. Click the notification button if you like the video, and write a comment if you want. And I'll see you all in the next video, and thank you for watching.